Hi friends, this is Saturday and we just got back a little while ago from the pumpkin patch. Um, it's just the one that Scott and I went to last year. There are bigger ones around. The one that we went to was is super close to our house, so that's why we went there. And so I have some footage that I'll share with you and I'll show you what we ended up picking up. Yeah, I thought I smelled gun smoke powder.
hair is kind of coarse, isn't it? But they're cute. Careful, you could bite. They're cute. Cute little dog. Aww. Yeah, I see a duck and a rooster over there. Duck's taking it down. I pretty much always buy organic apples, but they had the most beautiful honey crisp apples there, and I just I just couldn't say no to them. But I just bought three and I already ate one, <laughs> and it was really, really good. Like I said, apples are one of those things that I almost always buy organic, but I didn't this time. I ended up buying some squash. Olivia and I are the only ones in the house that like the hard-shelled squashes. So I got one butternut, and this is huge. It's a huge one, and we'll, we'll enjoy that. And then I got two acorn squash. And I won't, obviously I won't um, cook these all at the same time, but Olivia and I will enjoy those. And then I got this massive, massive head of cabbage. It was only $1.50 for this huge head of cabbage. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this, but I'm sure that I'm not gonna be able, we're not gonna be able to eat all of it fresh. So I think what I'll probably do is uh, slice it up, blanch it, and then freeze it. I don't know we'll see I've never done that before but I can't I mean I've bought frozen cabbage and stuff before so I don't see why it wouldn't work and then you could just throw it in soups and stuff and then we ended up getting three pumpkins this is Olivia's pumpkin and the other two are out on the deck which I'll show you that in a minute believe it or not Olivia has never carved a pumpkin now that's not because we had anything against carving pumpkins, but when they were really little and we would go to the pumpkin patch, they would um, always get a free pumpkin from the pumpkin patch, and it was just a little tiny one, and it really wasn't big enough to carve, and so I just had the kids paint them. They could paint faces on them, they could paint them just colors, and they did that for every, almost every year until they were teenagers, and then by that time they were like, eh. We're not interested in carving a pumpkin. But now Olivia wanted, asked if she could get a pumpkin so that she could carve it because she's never carved a pumpkin before. And I said, sure, we'll get you one. So I'm gonna have uh, video her carving her pumpkin for the first time, uh, first time ever carving a pumpkin. And I will probably end up putting it on fast speed and hopefully she'll do something amazing with it. But let me take you out on my uh, front deck and show you where I put those other two pumpkins while she's getting the table set up for her pumpkin carving. So this is where I put the other two pumpkins and this is gonna be the extent of my fall decorating outdoors. I just don't do a lot of it and I don't have a covered deck. So anything I put out here will get totally ruined by the weather. So I just don't. I don't uh, decorate for fall other than a couple of pumpkins and once in a while I'll get a stock of, of corn uh, stalks to put there. But these flowers I planted in the spring. They're impatience and this is the mm, south side of our, no this is the north side of our house and it, it doesn't get hardly any sun over here. And these impatient plants absolutely love the shade and I cannot believe how great they're doing. They look so pretty. I'm definitely going to plant impatience on in these pots every single year because they are still going strong. They still even have little unopened buds on there and these things will just they'll just go crazy until they get frosted. I've been so pleased with it. And they're so big that they're crowding in the the door. You, the door hits this every time we open it. We don't use this door too often. This is our front door. But uh, so yeah. And as you can see, our pine trees are making a mess. 
We don't even mess with it. We don't even try to keep this sweeped off because you sweep it off and five minutes later, it's gonna just look like this again. All right, let's go in and let's watch um, Olivia carve her pumpkin. We decided he looks like a Gilbert. So his name's Gilbert. And a small little pumpkin hack for you. If you, um, she used a Sharpie marker to draw the face on, and then there was still some Sharpie marker stuck on it. She got it off with rubbing alcohol. Just some rubbing alcohol, and it took the Sharpie marker right off. So if you ever have that problem, you can use sharp, um, alcohol. And Olivia decided to pick out all of the seeds and roast them. And she roasted about half with salt and half without salt. And the ones without salt, she is going to give to her cockatiel, Artie. here when it's dark. Thanks so much for spending the day with us at the Pumpkin Patch. We had a great time and we hope you enjoyed coming along with us and I hope you enjoyed Olivia's carving of her very first pumpkin. I feel kind of bad that her first pumpkin carving happened when she was 19 but hey you know what a whole lot less uh, work for me because she was independent worker. She could do it all on her own and I think it did. A, she did a really good job and uh, he turned out so, so cute. Thanks so much for watching, friends, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.